everyone, it's Annalise, and I just wanted to show a little crafty haul I have. I made an order with scrapbook.com and just thought I would show what I got for making other books and things that I love to do. So first of all, um, in my order I qualified for a freebie. Every once in a while uh, scrapbook.com has a cool freebie available, and this time it was their Floral Smooth cardstock. And so I was really excited to be able to get this because I just really love these colors. And let's just kind of pop this open and check it out. All right. So let's see. Yeah, nice smooth cardstock. It looks like it's um, the color in the core. So it's not a white core. It's like solid, which I actually really like because I think it looks better when you die cut or do any kind of cutting on the edges. And so, yeah, you can see these are really pretty. Like, I love that peach. And this is a nice color because you don't see this very much. It's kind of an orange coral. Um, not as neon as some of them are, which I don't really, I don't really care for a neon color. So that will be fun to use. And I could see myself using this when I have a flower dye from Alt New which die cuts all these different layers and it would be really pretty with all these different colors in the leaves too. So I'll probably give that a try sometime. Good classic colors. Um, another thing I wanted to order was some adhesive. I'm always using score tape in books that I'm making. And so I thought I would try this one. It's a little bigger than I usually use. It's a uh, three quarters of an inch. And you can see that I've ordered it before this is the quarter inch and um let's see this is another quarter inch and here's like an eighth inch probably from a different brand um i also like i use the elizabeth crafts which is i think this one's a uh, five eighths so it's a little less than half an inch no it's three eighths i think yeah three eighths so it's less than half an inch um so i just wanted to stock up on some more and get a new size and scrapbook.com has their own brand so i thought i would give that a try since i like their quarter inch one i ordered um another thing i got was this foam adhesive so i love using foam adhesive for adding a little dimension on embellishments or on cards or maybe on the cover of my book if i'm adding something special so let's pop this open All right, so this one is a quarter of an inch and I was curious how flexible it is because different foam tapes can have different flexibility. And this one looks pretty flexible. Like if I was doing like a window, like I might be able to bend it a little bit to go around like a circle window or something. So that will be nice. Um, and it, you know, just to cut strips and just pull the release paper so it'll be really easy to use. So that's cool. I also wanted to try their magic mat. I've been seeing everyone on Instagram post about the magic mat. You're supposed to use this in your die cut machine instead of one of your cutting pads. And I love the idea of owning something that doesn't wear away so fast because those plastic cutting pads, they go through a lot when you're die cutting a lot and they just warp and start bending and eventually you have to like flip it over, use the other side. Um, and then you just have to replace them. So I wanted to get this because it seems like it will be a lot longer lasting and they designed it so it would be the right thickness in your die cutting machine. So I'm not taking a risk by trying something that's a different brand and maybe, um, maybe might be too thick. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, also, this is just a self healing mat. So you could use it with any kind of like cutting that you're going to do. So if I was just going to cut out some paper with an exacto blade, then this is exactly what I could use too. And it's smaller than my big one here. Okay. So I wanted to make, I've been wanting to make a book for my kitty. And I've been looking for the perfect um, cat paper. Let's just pop this open too. All right. So 
So I've been looking for the perfect paper because I didn't want anything like too cartoony. I just wanted it to look really cute and timeless. So I decided to order this. This is from the Paper Boutique. I have not tried their paper before. Um, I don't think it's carried very many places. It's made in the UK. Um, but I saw that scrapbook.com had it and I thought, well, this would be really fun to try a new brand and to just try these little images. Like, look how cute that is. Like, this is going to be really cute to use to document my kitty because I've been taking pictures of her all year. Um, okay, so I just ordered this. This was the paper kit. Um, so it has 36 decorative papers and six designs and it also has some die cut toppers. So I was kind of curious, like, what is this going to look like? So it looks like... This is the paper pad. So what I was really excited about was like these nice delicate florals. Um, these little kitties. Like too cute, right? And I love this kind of teal color. And um, some coordinating stripes, which is always helpful. Here's like one that would you could put like your photo in the middle. Um, this is something that I might use if I'm making an 8x8 album. I could use this for the cover and then put all the fun die cuts on top. So I might try that. Okay, so lots of repeats. So I'm, I don't have to feel like it's too precious and I can't use it because there's like six of each sheet. So I can kind of go crazy with that. So that's fun. Um, okay, so let's see what these die cuts are. This is what I was curious about because the photos didn't show everything. So it looks like these are already like perf like cut out except for little spots here. So they'll be really easy to pop out. Just pop one out and see. Oh yeah. So that, that's pretty nice. Like you'll see a little edge, but I bet if I take a little file... I could file that down and it will be nice and smooth. Okay, so this is cute. So this this one I could use for a card. Um, let's see. So there's like four of those. Nice. Um, with love and best wishes. Um, life is a wonderful celebration. And then here's like some little bonus sentiments you can cut out. This would be really cute on cards. Okay. I'm just interested because I I just ordered it online and it didn't have a lot of pictures like I said so I was just curious what it was going to look like. Um, so these ones I might use more for cards. I'm sure I'm going to have plenty of paper left over to do it with. Um, but I think I'll sneak a few of these in the book I'm going to make. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then I also ordered the embellishment pad. It's a cat's life, and I, again, was curious what this would look like. Okay, so... Okay, so this is... These are different images. Well, maybe some are similar. Okay. Um, this one's just like different stripes. Here's some little things I can cut apart. Yeah, I really just wanted some cute cat images and I love there's all these florals too. And then, um, oh, this is cute. So it has like, every day is a new journey. Thanks for being the person you are. So these are things that I could use. Oh, father-in-law, mother-in-law, this is awesome. So I can make some really special cards with these. And I don't have to do any stamping because I can just use these little cut aparts and have super quick and easy cards. I bet I already have backgrounds. I can just put these on top of and maybe add some little flowers or embellishments. Mom, granddad, cute. Okay, then it repeats again. Okay. Well, that'll be fun. Um, I know I'll get some good use out of this. Um, again, there's six designs with six sheets each, so that's going to go a long way. I'm probably going to be able to make tons of cards and use some of them in the book I want to do. Fun. Okay, so I also wanted to try another new brand. I've never 
I don't think I've ever used Paper Rose. It looks like they're Australian. Yeah, made in Australia. And this is called Miss Penelope, and I, of course, ordered this because it also has cats and flowers. So let's take a look. All right, so... So a nice big floral. So this paper, I didn't mention this previous paper, the Paper Boutique. It's kind of thin. So if you were hoping that this was cardstock, um, it's thicker than printer paper, but thinner than cardstock. So I'm definitely going to be using some cardstock to glue these onto because it's not durable enough if I just made this a page in a book. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking at this brand. It is a little thinner, which is fine because I do a lot of layering anyway. And this paper is, it looks a little like slightly glossy, you can see. And it is a little thicker. Um, maybe it's like 60 pound, probably not 80. So this is really pretty flowers. Oh my girl, I'll be using that for my cat book because she's my girl. And these are really cute. You could just cut out and, you know, tuck in a, tuck on the cover or something. So that's pretty. Look at this. Just some nice little dots. This is really pretty. Okay, some cut parts I'm definitely going to use. This is cute. Life without you would be catastrophic. Life is better with cats. That's for sure. So that's sweet. Oh, on this side it's um, some watercolor and some loose stripes and even little X's on that that little banner strip. So that's nice. You can even use that side. Many people will walk in and out of your life, but true friends leave footprints on your heart. That's what it says right here. So I love that kitty. And the other side is like leopard. I'm not usually into leopard, but it will work. And again, little, um, you can use that edge, which is really helpful actually. Here's a wreath. And the last design, really pretty flowers and some black stripes. And my intention or my hope was that I could mix and match this paper with this because it seemed like the colors were going to play nicely with the with some turquoisey teal and some peach. And I think it will be fine. So I'm going to plan on mix and matching those. That will be fun. Yeah, why not? All right, and then the last thing for paper that I ordered was this Graphic 45 Patterns and Solids from the, let's see, it's called Blossom. I thought it was called something else, but Blossom. And I picked these, I didn't order the signature papers of this. I just got the Patterns and Solids. Um, and the main reason for that was I just really like these colors and I think they'll work well with other Graphic 45 collections that I have. And um, it just always seems like you need a little bit extra of just a solid paper to go with things. So this is really cute with the flowers. Um, here's a little lattice. Some more long stem flowers gotta have a stripe and this is pretty too i love the plum color it's a little different than i thought it would be based on like the picture online but i kind of like that it's a little more subdued and not as bright because i think it will go with more another stripe and some more long stems in that lattice. Yeah, so these are, I think this is gonna be really versatile. 
I can see myself using this with my, I have some scraps from Flora and Fruit. So I can use my scraps with this. Um, I could use some of my garden goddess I have to kind of pick up the greens and the pink. And I just, I never seem to have enough like navy blue. So that will come in handy too. So great. Well, thanks so much for joining me and look forward to the projects I'll be making. I'll be sharing that with you. Um, hopefully I can share some little in process of what I'm up to and then be back with like a whole reveal of what I make with this cute kitty paper. Thanks so much. Have a great day.